In this lesson, we are going to talk about merge conflict resolution in IntelliJ IDEA. First, we need to understand what is merge conflict. Suppose you are working on a team. Let me take the example of this particular pom.xml. As I was telling, suppose you are working on a team and it may happen in a particular repository on a specific file, multiple members are working. Say you are working on this particular file, you are working on certain lines and some other developer or developers also have made changes in the same file. If those changes are in different lines, no problem. But if the changes overlap, meaning the changes are in the same line, then there could be scenarios where IntelliJ IDEA may not be able to resolve the conflict arising due to those change and will ask you to perform the resolution. Now, this conflicts arise in different operations, pull, merge, cherry pick, unstashing the changes. In many scenarios, this merge conflicts may appear and in those cases, we have to resolve the conflict. So first, I'm going simulate one conflict here. I'll keep the conflict pretty simple so that we can understand. So in pom.xml in my local system, I'm going to make one change. Maybe I'm just adding one comment here at line number nine. So in my local main branch, this is the comment at line number nine. For the same repository, let me go to GitHub. This is my main branch, open pom.xml. I'm going to edit the file in the same line, line number nine. And I'm going to add one change instead of comment from local. This is comment from remote. Commit the changes, update pom.xml. Let me change the comment a little bit. Update remote pom.xml. Committing the changes. Now, what I'm going to do, I have not committed my changes. I can commit it or I can keep it local. Let me do one thing. Let me commit this change into my local repository. Clicking on commit, local comment in pom.xml. Clicking on commit. Now, if I open this git commit history, I have this local comment. Now let's pull the changes from the remote repository. git pull. Click on pull. Now you can see IntelliJ IDEA has identified that there is some conflict merging branch origin slash main into the branch main. Let me let me resize this a bit. Mine is main. This is origin main. This is a remote. This is mine. Either I can accept my change or I can accept their change or we can merge. Let me click on merge to see how the difference is shown by IntelliJ IDEA. Now, this is the interesting part. You can see changes from main changes from origin slash main. This is the remote change. This is the local change and this is the overall result. So there are options provided. We can accept left we can accept right or we can manually move the changes also. If I want to keep my changes from local, I can just click over here and move it like accepting. Same I can do over here also. And once the changes are given, I can say apply. Suppose I don't want to take any of the changes. I can keep it as it is and click on apply as well. Doesn't matter. Anyways, I don't want to take the changes from remote. I think my changes, my local changes are good to go. Click on accept left. Now the conflict is resolved. You can see update remote pom.xml, local comment in pom.xml. Now I am going to push the code into the remote repository. Git push local comment should be pushed. I am clicking on push. Push is in progress. Now it has pushed it to the remote repository. If I go here and refresh this, I can see the comment from local now. And also I can check the history over here. We can see both of the commits are here one that was made from here in the GitHub UI and another which I did from IntelliJ IDEA. So this is a very basic scenario where I explained what is merge conflict and generally when it happens and how IntelliJ IDEA helps us in resolving the merge conflict. The final decision we have to take, but it provides us a nice UI to see the incoming changes, see the existing changes and how to adjust those changes and take the final decision and then apply it on top of the source code.